If you're interested in ServiceMate, then in this demo, I'm going to show you some of the key features we use day to day in the business to really get the most from ServiceMate. We've been with them about five years and our business has grown during that time from um, myself and one other electrician to now we've got 12 people in the business and they're all using ServiceMate day to day. Including that, we also have additional people like um, accountants, bookkeepers, marketing folk and people who can come in as contractors and get on our service mate without any additional user charges. So it works really well for us with a single set charge every month. So um, full transparency on this, we are service mate partners and affiliates. So not only am I using it day to day, uh, we do get paid if we sign people up, but we get a lot of questions about service mate. So the idea of this video is to help you just answer the basics and see how other people are using it day to day of actually using the system. So first thing I want to do is kick off with just opening a job, doing a quote, scheduling it, and then contacting the customer about that job. And that will show you all the basics, plus it will show you some of the key features we use day to day as well. So we're gonna go ahead and hit new job, but I'm not gonna choose a new job. I'm gonna choose a pre-created um, template for a, um, an EV charging system. So I'm going to hit that and you can see straight away the system's already populated um, with some notes that I've set up on a pre-done template. I'm going to stick the customer name in. We're just going to use Ben um, Test. Ben Test gets a lot of work. Oh, there we go. He's a new customer. And we're going to stick my home address in. That's uh, nice and simple. Okay, first thing it's going to do is give me a, an address picker. Let me choose the exact address, which also means it locates um, 0.9 miles from our office, which is great. It's um, it's found where we are. And it tells us how long we're going to drive as well. So straight away, anyone scheduling the job, quoting the job, knows how far it is. Um, I'm going to stick in an email address here, um, and then I'm going to put in a phone number as well. That is my phone number, so if you want to ring me about this video, feel, please feel free to. Um, so that's the basics all set up and ready to go. Now, what we're going to do next is quote the job. So the idea is I'm on the phone to the customer or I'm with the customer in person, or one of my team is out with a quote in person, or even our call center has taken a call and they want to quote this online. We have used the service function to set up pre-done services, um, for common tasks. So the first one I'm going to show is EV charging. We're going to go ahead. And we're going to choose um, our EV charge point inquiry. And we're just going to ask the customer some basic questions. Is it for home? Um, have you got off street parking? Which describes your property the best? Um, where will it be installed on the garage? And how far from the meter? Less than 10 meters. Do you have spare way? Yes, in this case. And what brand would you like? Now, we always recommend the Zappi. We do have other options as well, which are on the questionnaire, um, which easily puts the price for these systems in. We love the energy system. So we're going to go with that one. Tethered, untethered, black, white, whichever one you want. Good to go. So straight away on the spot, we've got a quote, um, which can require us to email it to the customer. Or if we're with them and they accept, it can be accepted on the spot. So we're going to require approval on this and hit apply. Now, what that's done um, on the, the quotes and invoicing page, it's given us a full breakdown of parts for this system. Um, and it's given us a six mil. Um, EV Ultra, 10 meters of it. It's given us a type A RCBO. We don't know what brand it is at this stage, so we just put a 40 pound placeholder in there. Covers most on the market, I guess. Um, we've got the Zappi itself, and we've got our, our labor cost, four hours commissioning. Um, and it gives you the final quote all in. That's including VAT and everything. Now, what the next thing would be to do is either um, speak to the customer on the spot if you're with them, or email them that quote. Now. A lot of people won't want to show this full breakdown. So what we actually do is we just take the info that we need to actually show them, um, which is that. And we're going to paste it into work completed. And then we're just going to go in and we're going to choose what level of detail we want to provide on our quote. Now, some people just don't like to show them any line items at all. So you can go ahead and you can choose a no line item quote and send that over. So it's got your, your notes about the install plus the final price and that's it. We like to do that sometimes, but we usually like to give a little bit more information. So we're actually gonna give a um, a quantity quote. So we're gonna go domestic um, and quantities. So we're not gonna see, the customer won't see the prices 
but this time they get to see a little bit more information um, which is use useful sometimes sometimes it's not okay so they're going to see they've got the 10 meters vv ultra they've got the, the rcbo they've got the zappy and they've got the commissioning which includes the building control electrical cert and ena notification super that's job done great stuff so we're going to email that to the customer we're going to click email and customer details are already filled in up here um, it's going to the address of the customer and it's got a, a basic quote template on there if we wanted to put any more information on that template we can actually go ahead and choose a different template and give them more information now um, for us what that looks like is um, you on here look we've got a deposit option so you send a deposit payment details next steps um, this is actually what we send to our solar job so there's some mention on there of mpan numbers and surveys but it's all same similar sort of stuff so um for now we'll just send a standard quote template which is standard quote template all good to go i'm going to stick some photos on there with the zappy that we're going to be getting um these are saved to our job template it makes it really easy so we're going to go ahead and send that over it's all good customers got a couple of options now they can accept that online um or they can um, just call us up so let's say they get on the phone they want to go ahead um it's all good so ben test is on the phone i'm just going to stick that in the search box find the job hello mr ben what is it you want i um, want to go ahead with our booking excellent so first thing we're going to do we're going to turn it to a work order you can see here the job category is set as an ev charger we did that through the job template um, and this this allows us to then track the revenue that we're getting over the course of the year what jobs it's been done on and where our money's coming from basically which is great this also syncs to our accounting package so moving on to the next step is just getting them a job booked in i'm going to stick schedule on here or schedule the job on here um, and then we're going to choose one of our staff members to go and do the job um, I'm going to choose myself to not confuse anyone in the team by getting bookings booked in for them. It's going to automatically choose the next available slot in my diary um, and offer that as a choice to the customer. If that's no good, we've got other slots here. Um, if you want to do it manually, you can just pick your dates. So I'm going to choose the 4th of um, April um, and away we go. It's saying here there's a one hour travel time there which means that in the morning I've actually got another job booked in elsewhere, which is picking up that's an hour away from the location of the job. Obviously, if I don't want that, I can then choose a different day and that looks better. I've got less on that day. Let's go for it. I'm going to save the booking. I'm going to send the booking confirmation link. Could I put my mobile phone number in? Um, I'm going to see if that comes right through. I'll show you that when it comes through. Um, it might be on a time delay. Yeah, there we go. Though. So the, the booking will be sent after a set time okay so um everything's good to go jobs booked in so the next steps now um there's a couple of things to do so obviously we need to get hold of that zappy so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to um assign it to my office team member to for him to go and order the zappy um so we'll order them from cef i'll tag him in so he knows he's going to get an immediate notification now to tell him to order that i can also set him a task so if he needs to um so if he needs to uh go to his task list and see all his tasks laid out good to go i'm also going to set a deadline on it that needs to be done by wednesday the 27th i'd say a week before the job um, i'm going to assign it to our admin team member who's going to be able to do that now he's now got a task in his task list to get that done now let's say that's done he's completed the task it goes on the job that's been completed it also notifies me he can then go on there and leave another note um ces to deliver on 1st of april to the office good stuff So yeah, we're good to go there. So we'll save that as well. Now, next steps then. This is booked in and it's all good to go now. Um, what we've got up here is what's called queues. The service mate uses the queue system to, um, to assign jobs. Now, if that job wasn't booked and we had materials 
two book to get it we would just stick that in our order kit queue we can also assign that to a staff member who needs to order that kit okay also once the kit comes in and we need to contact a customer to book it um, we'd then stick it in job to book and again assign that to a staff member who's going to handle that task um, same sort of thing when quotes have been done or they need doing we've got queues for all of these and what that means is if you know that I'm going to catch up this morning on my quotes to do you click quotes to do you can see all the ones that are still to do same sort of thing with quotes sent you can click on your quotes sent go down and chase them up if you want to chase them up um, what's really good about this is you can also set automation so after it enters here after so many days it would leave there and then it would go back into your general like um, next job to do action required queue so um, it's all good and, and ready for your next task so that's just the basics of how we set a job schedule it send it on now going back to um, going back to that job that test the lads go to site do the install so first thing they do is open the app they drive there customer gets a text when they're on the way um, they check in when they get to the job and when they leave they can take photos on the job and um, and show off what's been done on site now this is really good for us um, let me just get another job up this will be really good for us going out to jobs um, and then seeing what's been done on job after the fact so for now I can click in and I can see previous jobs and this is just another another example job but previous jobs that have been done and it can do things like photos of consume units photos of the work carried out all of that sort of stuff on the job so it's all archived in one place and i'm looking here at a job that was done over a year ago and you can still see all the photos there and easy to find you get a full history of all the communications on the job emails to our suppliers emails to um you know your ena forms for your ev charger and solar um forms that were created in service mate for the system itself so overall it it's really handy to have this diary section with everything in one place all communications um, backwards and forwards with the customer with suppliers with other staff members all saved in one place and it's really easy to keep track of everything and uh, this is one of the major key features for us using this job diary to uh, to track all your jobs so Hopefully that's been useful to you. That's a full rundown of what we do and how we use ServiceMate day to day. Now, as I said at the start, we are affiliates for ServiceMate. So if you sign up using our link, which is elec-in.co.uk forward slash SM8, then we're going to get paid for that. Um, but you're also going to get a 14 day free trial and then 30% off for your first six months. In addition, if you sign up using our link, um, get in touch with me and I'll help you with the initial setup so we can talk you through just some pointers on where to go and where the basics are and we'll get you off to the races and running really easily so um, that's all free of charge we'll just um, give you a hand getting that set up because I know what it's like I've been through all this myself back in the day when we were on one software then another and then another and then we eventually found service mate and it's just been fantastic for us since then so Overall, hopefully um, you guys have found this useful. Going forward, I'm going to try and do some more videos similar to this one, showing off some of the other features of ServiceMate that we use day to day, showing off the app and things like that. So keep an eye on the YouTube channel and um, also follow on social media as where we're sharing um, the videos as we're doing them. So thanks so much for watching. I hope this has been useful and um, good luck with your, your new software search, I guess.